So this is this is by Sira, and what's going on here is we've, we're in we're in space. We're in the Trappist system. Uh, Trappist is a thing that was in the news a couple of years ago. It's, they found a uh, like an Earth like planet there. It's in like the Goldilocks zone and about about Earth size. I think is what it was. Or maybe a little bigger. Um, but anyway, Trappist is the name of the game, and, and you're in a system with a bunch of different planets. We're on an, an ARC colony ship, and we have to go around and, and land at different planets. And within those planets, we're going to build multiple colonies. And so each colony kind of has its own um, uh, focus. Like We've got either a, um, a desert world, which has sand, which make concrete and stuff. You've got one that has iron, you can get steel. And not necessarily different planets – but maybe multiple colonies on the same planet. We'll see here in a second. Uh, this is on itch.io, and I don't think there's a Steam page or anything like that just yet. Uh, but, oh, there's there it is on itch. So let's try that. Um, we're going to go normal. Normal. <clears throat> okay, so we got like a little guide up here in the corner, which is going to guide me through some things. Well, we got a uh, an arc here. It's heading to this desert planet. Let's see what we can see here. Um, there we go. There's our system. So we got a sound. We've got... Hot Nugget and Janus and Red Planet. We're going to this desert planet, uh, which has a breathable atmosphere, apparently. And we're going to see if we can uh, get a colony going. We've got Zima, which is inside the Goldilocks zone. We've got Jungle Planet. We should be going there. But we're going to go down this way. And on this platform, we've got, we've got a bunch of cryopods, which has people in them, which will start cooking up and, and releasing. We've got a couple of little fighters, little transports that we can like take stuff down to the planet back and forth. Um, I think I closed... No, there we go. I got it. Yeah, I'll put a link there. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find. Um, and with on this, we've got things like we have water, we have concrete, we have steel, uh, potatoes, and we have people. People right now are all in the, the pods and health drinks, whatever that is. <clears throat> um, and when we get to the planet, we're going to drop them down there. So let's go ahead and and clean up these these ruins. I'm not sure what these are. I guess the trip over here was pretty rough. So we've got a bunch of ruins we can clean up real quick. As we, as we enter the orbit of this planet. Okay, so now... <clears throat> I'm going to follow this thing here. <clears throat> we built a couple of habitats on the Ark. And what's going to happen here is basically they're little houses. So when people come out of the pods, they can have a place to sleep or live, I guess. Um, but this is like only part of the game takes place on this Ark. Most of it's going to be on the planets. So there we go. Spaceship carried us for, and all our supplies away from Earth. Now serves as both a ship and a colony. It's a big hunk of rock so um i think we're good oh, oh let's get a um well, we got cryopods we already got those uh we're gonna go and and open some of these guys up and start letting them pop out so these guys will sort of start slowly start popping out of the pods and they won't like pop out if we don't have space for them but as soon as we if we have space they will pop into here and they'll start living in here. And when we get colonists, we're going to start shipping them down to the planets in a minute. Okay. So we get the, our, listen, our supplies will let us run the arc for a bit. And we'll use people to go and build on the planet as well. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, let's go survey the planet. So I'm going to take this guy over here. And we're going to go survey that planet. Enter orbit. And there he goes. He's going to go survey the planet. And we'll figure out about it. We'll learn what resources are there. Because each planet is going to have different things. There's going to be different things at different parts of the planet as well. Reveals locations for colonies and other interesting sites. Move one of the cargo ships and right click on the planet to move it. Okay, we already got that. Yeah, we're already hit him. This is... Kind of slow. What do we have here? Oh, there's our solar system view. Okay, we're waiting for him to do his thing. I'm not sure if there is a um, speed up. I don't think so.
There we go. He's at 56%. Uh, we can go and encourage him to go a little faster by adding a second guy in there. The main reason for these guys, other than surveying, is they also are going to be our transports. And so to build whatever buildings we want, you know, housing and, and mines and all that, windmills, we're going to get there uh, by transporting stuff down to the planet. Okay, so we've got it. Desert planet has a breathable atmosphere and most of the surface is too dry. Okay, at a promising spot with underground water reserves. Let's take a cargo ship for a closer look. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, I think I got to click on this guy and then click. Okay, and there he goes. What a place. Very homey. So we can build a colony hub from the landing pad of, of the ship. So we'll put ourselves a um, one of these guys down right there. And we also put down a landing pad for our ship right there. First extra solar colony is officially open for business. We can move cargo ship to the landing pad to transfer goods. Right over there. So if we had anything on the ship, we could transfer it onto the colony now. But we don't have anything yet. So we're gonna go back back up to the uh th to the ark. And when he gets here, he's gonna come over here. We're gonna load up some things on here. We're gonna give him some I don't think he needs water, but he does need concrete. And he needs some some steel beams. I think that's it. Transfer the goods. It just says transfer the goods. We'll just do those two things. I'll take a couple potatoes too. And then we'll go back down there. Back down to that site. And at this planet, this haven we call it, Earth like gravity, we got oxygen, we got CO2, we got sand, we got water at this place. So, now that we're here, we can go and start building things. We can build a pioneer camp, water pump, potato farm, and windmills. So, let's start with... Uh, well, we, pioneer camp's going to cost some concrete. Oh, i got to transfer the stuff over. I forgot. So, we're to transfer this stuff like that into the, uh, into the place. And then we will build a pioneer camp. We can get some people out here and we kind of place these things. There is like a zone of... of control here, but I'm not sure that that... I think as long as that's nearby, it's fine. So, let's get camp going. These holds, I think, eight people. Build a couple of these. Uh, let's get a... Uh, we'll need power, of course. We need, we need a water pump. There's a water pump out there. It is. Water pump. Take some beams. We'll set this guy up and we'll put him in right there. Okay, uh, the water pump needs people to work it. So, we'll have to get some people down here. Once we get habitats, we can do that. People are going to need food as well. They seem to like that kind of stuff. So, we'll get some potato farms in here. Or a farm in here. Which, again, is going to need people to work it. And we also need to get a, um, a windmill or solar panel. Which we can get. Uh, I would assume the solar panel would be probably better here. Well, it costs silicon. We don't have any silicon. So, we'll get a windmill. Right there. Go to the wind. Start a spinning. Okay. So as long as we have enough potatoes and water, we should bring people down here. We got potatoes. We don't. We, we didn't bring any water, but we'll go get some. Let's go. Uh, let's go get some water and and go bring some people down here. And I mean, we got 16 people sitting out here, ready to go. So we're gonna grab all of them, and we'll grab the water. We'll grab the rest of the potatoes. And head on down. We want to go back to uh, Haven here. Uh, there is silica. We don't have silica yet. We got to mine the silica. So we're gonna drop off. We can hold 16 people because we got two houses here. So we'll drop them all off there. They're gonna start eating all that. We'll put some water in the tanks and drop some potatoes off. And now that they're here, they should start working. And they're bringing out four potatoes a minute. And they're bringing out. Two water every minute. Uh, are what are they eating? I don't know. Uh, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Huh? So we've got. What are you guys eating? Do we know? Each hour you consume four water, and each 
minute. You bring up each minute is two water and each hour. Oh, each colonist every hour. So we're doing one a minute. So we're good. But I need to do the drones out there dropping things off and carrying stuff around. But what we want to do is we want to go and start getting some mines. We can get storage depot, of course, to carry stuff. Um, I don't know if we can... Where is it out here? There it is. So there's a sand pit. It takes people to work it, uh, but it'll start producing sand. So sure, we'll set up a sand pit over here. Okay. And once the sand pit's down, we can start getting that and start cranking out things like concrete. And it's silicon... Silicon... Silicium? Silicium? Silicon smelter. Time to find another suitable location for a second colony on this planet. We can also survey other things. We'll do it. Build a concrete uh, place first, though, because we're going to need that. So we'll just set that one up over here. And let's go get 60 people here. Uh, I'm going to take this guy and get him out of here. And I believe this guy's already... Are you surveying? We can survey other planets. Let's go send him... What do you got? I think... I don't know if he's going to survey there. We'll send him over here to this red one. And we'll see if he can go survey that one. There he goes. Okay. So with this guy back, um, some of these pods are going to start getting empty. Because there's people um, are getting out of them. Um, there are people here ready to go. Let's go ahead and, and open up another pod. And just as we get people, we'll toss them in. And we can actually make a couple more of these things. What do you got? What else can we do? A solar panel. Take silicon. So we get one more of these guys. And I'm going to fill this thing up with people. I'm going to toss them down there. We'll build some more stuff. We'll take the concrete. And we'll take the rest of the steel beams. Which I probably should save for other things. But, eh. We'll take it out. This is called Trappist. We're going to head back to Haven. I'm going to click on the name, I guess. And head on down. Um, how do we get down there? There we go. So, uh, we can we've, we don't have any more room for people, because I only hold 16. So we got people on our ship, and we'll drop them off in a second as we build more spots for them. 60 is going to be... What, seven? We need... No, we need eight. We need eight of these places. I'm not sure why I can't put one there. Seven. We'll do... Oh, I'm out of concrete. Okay. Uh, so he should be making it. We got people working here, whipping up some concrete. So that's working all right. Uh, how do we know where power is? How's power doing? I'm not sure where we see the power is okay. I guess it's right there. We have eight energy required and eight produced. So I suppose we can whip another one of those up. There must be a hill there. I can't I can't quite see. Okay, Red Planet's very similar to Mars. Harsh dust storms moving into the food with this dry surface makes it inhospitable. Okay. Um, we have... Let's go ahead and do it. Let's drop people, people off. They're going to fill these places up. Put the clothes outside. Uh, we're going to whip up some potatoes. We've got plenty of water. The water pump is producing two, right, every minute. And we are drinking. I don't know where we see that. I don't know where we see how much we drink. 2.47. So we need another, uh, another water spot. So let's get the water guy going. Pop him in there, and we'll take a look at food. How are we doing with food? We got we have air, food. We're make, we're eating two point four per minute, and we are making four every minute. So we're fine there. And the drone's working. We should survey other places. Let's go survey another place outside. Where's that guy at? The planet moved. There he is. So, I want you to go survey... Where's that other one that was close? There's that jungle one. That's the jungle one? Yeah, go to the jungle one. Let's go see if we got some life over there, Jim. Okay, 
so back over here, I can drop the rest of the concrete off and the rest of the steel bars that they can hold. Um, and we can make we can make our final housing spot, which we'll throw in like right there. That gives us eight, so we can have enough for the sixty people. We don't have sixty people here yet, so we can go get some um, and get that goal done. Concrete factories, what's wrong with you? You don't have enough sand. We could probably use another sand man. I bet you. We're on a desert planet. If there's anything we should be doing, it's, it's sand. How much do you make? You make two every minute. And you... It takes four sand... To make a... To make a... To make a concrete... So, we may actually need more water because we're using some water for this guy also. We'll do one, one more. Throw it out there. We have still have available colonists, so it's not, not too big a deal. And, um... What's that one? That's the, that's the silicon one. Which, um, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and get that out there. This little guy. Squeeze it in there. What's wrong with you? You need... Energy, okay. Windmill it is. Okay, so now you're cranking out some silicon. Which will be sitting... I don't know where it's going to be, but I guess we'll get some silicon and we can use it as we need it. And we need 60 people here, so we got... Wait, what? 23 more we need to get? Let's go ahead and get up there and get it. Go to, back to the Haven. And pick up 24. And as we take them, more will come out because they can fill in those those spots. So we'll take out... There's 34. That's... Isn't that what I said? I said... I don't know what I said. I don't know what health drinks are. We're gonna, smoothies? Is that, the, is that the... Drink of the future? Okay, drop these people off. We've got 60 people here now. We are full. Great, with more colonists, we can build, support more advanced buildings. Keep in mind that colonists living in larger colonies will need more resources, of course. You get back down there, buddy. Uh, now, uh, we'll take another quick look and make sure we, we're getting... That's all done. So we're drinking 2.13 per minute. Eating 2.13. We're still not making that much, so we're fine. <clears throat> Spotted small campfires and signs of civilization. We need to keep our distance until we can be sure not to endanger the native population. No, no, get in there. Get in there. No prime directive. Let me whip out one more, one more camp here. Drop these last guys off. So we got 71 people here. As long as the food and water is not... <laughs> yes, you, Mons. That's right. That's right. <laughs> as long as it's there, we're good. We need more sand. Oh yeah, because we got the silicon guy cranking out now. Let's get like two more sand people. Ooh, a soybean farm, huh? Oh, we can make soy calf burners. Coffee makes the girl world go around. We can make bakeries now and grain mills. Rocket fuel refinery. Let's get a... Uh, where's that sand man at? Resource. The wheat farm. Sand pit. Let's do like two more of these. Oops. So, let's go back out. And, um... I want to live here. Oh, it's like trade routes we can set up for later on. Okay. Uh, we're going to go check out... What is this one? We want to go that one, or... There's one... Yeah, let's go to that one. So I know there's ways of... of, of Scanning this planet for more places. Let me see if we can find. Let's go up. <laughs> can we scan the planet? Is that what you're going to do when you're up here? There's no scanning beams. No, you just do your thing. Found an underground oil reservoir on a second site. Okay, he did it. Oil will be useful for energy and plastics. So we got another site over here that we can build a second colony for oil. Over this way. 
Go ahead and buzz around. Oh, you go, go land over here, buddy. And at this site, this really game gets kind of neat. It's because everything's very varied. Very varied. We've got some uh, some dinos. These animals are huge. Proper archaeological dig. We can find out more about this life that once walked this planet. Research labs we can build over here. So this is going to be the um, the oil-focused planet and research. Land that over here. We can come land down over here if we need to. Le much less hospitable than Haven. We'll have to move water and food to this site if anyone wants to live here. So we have to go and do some um, uh, uh, trade. We can build stuff as soon as we get supplies. Boom, boom. Bounce him back over. Yeah, he's going to go over there. Pick up some stuff. Uh, and actually what we can do is... I think... We can say... Where's this other fella at? Are you still scanning that one? Did you find anything over here? What's this called? Oh, still surveying. Okay. Low gravity vacuum. That's going to be a bit of a problem. I believe we can say... I don't remember how to do it. But there's ways of doing... I saw it a minute ago. We can trade from place to place. And I think we can set up these trade routes. Um, so if we want to go and build a colony over there, we need to go and get some stuff set up. So let's go back to Haven. Back over here to Haven. And in Haven, we're going to pick some things up. So let's grab some... We'll grab a little bit of water. A little bit of taters. And, uh, mostly we want concrete and steel, though. Let's leave the potatoes for now. Take all the concrete and some of their steel. Uh, Janus is, is tidally locked. One side permanently faces the star. Despite being the Goldilocks zone, the planet is too hot and too cold at the same time. Okay. So then we can go over to Graveyard. Uh, whoops. You. Lift off. And go to Graveyard. Move water here if anyone's going to live there. Well, it's a cheap way to power our colonies. Grow the algae to feed our crew. We can use it to make plastics. Fresh air from an oxygen bottling plant would make those would be appreciated by those still in space. Oh, yeah, we can whip that up in the other planet. Well, while we're here, we can make... Um, we want to get the basic stuff, right? We got to get... Well, we want a research lab, which is going to take... Where was that one at? I don't think we can do that one yet. Can we? Oh, yeah, we can. Concrete, steel beams, and computer chips. So I need people to run it, though, so we'll have to have a whole base set up for this one. Apartment complex. Plasteel bricks. Interesting. Um, this, was, this was the oil place, right? So, let's start out with... Um, set... Building steel beams for that, you need to find a place that has iron ore on another planet. Or we can recycle some of those cryopods. Okay. Build a house. Oh, wait. You have all your concrete on. Drop, drop your stuff off. Let's whip out one of these camps. And I don't know if it says anything about food. If you can, if it's even able to be uh, having food here. Let's get the basic stuff, though. Like the, the, the this guy. For power, and we need water. If there is any water, oh, there is no water here at all, so we have to chuck it over here. The farms are going to take water. That's not going to work. And then we want <laughs> so, uh, oil refinery takes con eight concrete and eight colonists to run. So we just need one of these places run, and we get some oil in this place. But we have to get water brought over here somehow. For those eight people. Let's see what we can do. Let's go get eight people first. And bring them aboard. We want just eight. Just eight. Um, we don't have any concrete over here. We'll give them a couple health drinks. Actually, maybe what we should do is we should go down to the other planet, grab some concrete, and head over there. 
and uh, and water. Okay, so I want you to go to Haven. Hey, TypeScript. Okay, so we'll load up on water. Uh, we will load up on... We could grab some silicon and get, like, power over there. Not sure. Uh, while I'm here, let me, let me grab... Where's that oxygen bottling plant? Do we care about that? Oil, potatoes... Oxygen bottling plant. Take eight concrete. Whip up some some like like in like like space balls style. I hope so. I'm not sure what else we needed over here. I don't know if we need steel beams or not, but I'm gonna take them. And we'll run over to the other place. Over to um no 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 no. You over there. A little finicky. And when you're over there, I want you to uh, build me an oil jack. Jack, drop all that stuff off. Uh, we're, did I not bring any potatoes? We're probably going to want some of those. And we will build oil jack. Oh, it takes four colonists to run it. Um, they're dying from starvation. Well, okay, let's 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 deal with that. Let's go get some food for these people. Back to Haven. Can I set up... There's a way. I saw a way of doing trade routes. I don't remember how to do it. Now I'm going to grab some taters. Get back over there. The name of the place is called Graveyard. What a lovely place. A dad joke? Are you sure about that? I need to save my people first real quick. There we go. Okay. Get that oil brought in. What else do we do with this oil? We make, we make plastics, right? Different colonies will have different needs. Select any habitat to see a list of things on the list, which is up here. So we've got oil, um, sand, and gravity here. If we make an oil refinery, which turns that crude oil into something good. We need more concrete, though. That joke. I'll get a short one for you. So this jockey's about to enter the race on a new horse. The horse's trainer meets him before the race and says, All you have to remember with this horse is that every time you approach a jump, you have to shout, Alley oop! Really loudly in the horse's ear. As long as you do that, you'll be fine. The jockey thinks the trainer's a little bit wacky, but promises to shout those words. The race begins and they approach the first hurdle. The jockey ignores the trainer's silly advice and the horse crashes straight through the center of the jump. They keep going and approach the second hurdle. The jockey, somewhat embarrassed, whispers, alley -oop, into the horse's ear. Same thing happens. The horse crashes straight through the center of the jump. The third hurdle, the jockey thinks, it's no good, I'll have to do it. And he yells, alley -oop, really loudly. Sure enough, the horse sails over the jump with no problem. This continues for the rest of the race, but due to the earlier crashes, the horse only finishes third. Turner asks the jockey what was wrong. The jockey replies, nothing is wrong with me. It's the horse. Was he deaf or something? The trainer replies, deaf. He's not deaf. He's blind. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Scold, it wasn't, it wasn't worth sticking around for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a look at, at green. Uh, that's jungle. We saw that one already. We haven't looked at... Looked at that one yet? That's a gas one. We know there's. We haven't looked at Zima yet. Let's go look at Zima. There it is. There's the trade button. Click, click to trade a trade route for this ship. That's the thing we want. <laughs> we'll leave that one out either, have we? Hot nugget. So he's going to survey that one over there and we'll see what's at that planet. Can we survey the, the star? We can. Look at that. Those moons are going crazy around that planet. All right, so the crowd pods will come out um, if we need more people. Uh, let's go back to Haven here and take a look. Um, I think I think we're good though. Everything's everything's running here. We don't have the we don't have that. We can build an oxygen bottom of the plant. We can build an RG, an algae farm on the ar arc. 
algae farm on the ark. Sure. Let's do that. Solar panels, we can do those eventually. Research lab. Oh, we can put this up here as well. An algae farm takes steel beams, which I've got some of those. Where's my, my ship at? Here it is. Um, we don't need them. Take those. Get back up here. And let's drop off here. I think we need steel beams for the crude oil thing, but... I'm gonna pop it over here so we can make... Um... This, this guy. What's it need? It needs, needs water and crude oil. Okay. Solent is what spacemen are made of. Uh-huh. Uh, I want you to go back because it needs it needs water and crude oil. Is that what we have at Graveyard? Is it crude? Yeah, crude oil. So we actually don't need the other stuff. We've got, what, one crude oil ready for pickup? One? What have you been doing here? Zero ready for pickup. Oh, it's all... We got nine. Nine of them ready for it. So we can dump some oil in there and, and get some algae made up. And then I guess we could set up a, a... I guess you can kind of choose what you want to do. Do you want to do potatoes? Do you want to do algae? And have a trade route going back and forth. That's cool. I'll take some of those. I'll drop it off. Okay. Don't have any water. Is it health? You need health? Oh, you make you make the health drinks. Oh, it's al It's an algae slush. Or algae shake or whatever. Ooh. Nice color, though. Oh, Zima's, Zima's frozen completely. Okay. Okay. Look for samples near the geysers in Haven. How do we do that? Source of information on how the evolution and geology interact with this planet. Take a closer look to collect samples be used for research. How do we do that? I wonder if that is a... a job for my ship. To sort of just hover around here. And he'll find it. Just by hanging out. Yeah, you know, it's still in the early days, but yeah, it's neat. It's quite a bit going on here. We've got multiple plants we'll have. We'll have multiple colonies. Um... On those different planets, I guess we could build a planet or colony on this one, I think, if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't have any place. I'm not entirely sure. But can you land on it? You didn't find anything, anything, any suitable landing sites, so you can't. When we find suitable landing sites, which we've looked everywhere, but a couple of them. I'm assuming we'll get the technology to allow us to start landing in other places. But anyway, that's a nice quick look at this one. This is Trappist. Um, it's a good place to probably wrap it up. Uh, it is... Um, it is available on itch.io. Pull up the Steam page if I still have it. There it is. Um, on itch.io uh, over here. I'll put a link. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, I'll put a link there. And you can check it out. Uh, by Sierra Games. And... Discover and excavate alien artifacts hidden in the system to uncover the true purpose of Trappist-1. Huh? Build our colonies. Build our ark. It's relaxing. Yeah, I'm, re I'm relaxed. Four colony sites, including the ark. Planet and two moons. Oh, I didn't... I guess there is moons. We could, Oh, the one that had the moons, we could probably park over there. Um, different starting conditions. Cool. Anyway, there is Trappist.